ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Let us continue with the previous successes that we had. I think I might be able to get into orbit. I'm actually starting to doubt that right now. Uh, hmm. One of the things I just unlocked away from the camera with those 50 credits that I had was batteries. Batteries, uh, thermometer, Basically the next item in the science tree. I think I already had a radio, so we're going to try to go up and do a little bit of science and actually attempt to radio transmit that science. Uh, orbit is still a little bit... hmm. I'm, I'm a little bit not sure about getting into orbit. You know what? Let me actually... let me go back. Hmm... Mm, yeah, let me go back. Let me actually go, go, go back. Uh, I changed my mind. Back, back to the... Uh, the vehicle assembly building. I wanted to throttle down these boosters, and I also wanted to give myself some... I, have you learned nothing? I wanted to give myself some... Uh, 85. Alright, some fins. Some stability fins. Which have proved to be quite helpful as of late. So perhaps I shall keep them as part of my design. Yes, there we go. And maybe even... Well, those are like wing wings. I don't need wing wings. Maybe some on this stage as well. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. You can never be too sure. So let's go back to the launch pad. Sorry, Jebediah. Got your hopes up there really quick. And now, now that we took a break, and now we're back. We had to review the process. But we are ready to launch in five, four, three, two, one, go! All right, we're going up at a reasonable pace. I'm gonna throttle back a little bit on the liquid boosters. Uh, whoa, SAS on, SAS on. Let's take it easy. I totally forgot about that. Easy there, easy there, big fella. All right. Solid rockets are lasting nice and long for us. We will do our slight gravity turn, as I mentioned, at about 10,000 meters is when the solid rockets should go away. They shall be jettisoned thusly, thusly. And alley-oop. Oh, we're losing speed. We want to maintain that speed, please. There we go. Let's do an ever-so-gentle gravity turn. And I did fit the uh, the gimbling rocket on the bottom, as opposed to the, the standard solid straight-up-and-down rocket. Alright, let's look at our information we've got here. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Back here. Very nice. Uh, let's keep it on 45, let's say, because we should be able to get to space at this juncture. Let's throttle up a little bit, now that we're out of the thick part of the atmosphere, as you can see. Ooh, that has changed, too. Didn't it used to... it used to stay kind of in that mode until you got to 70,000. So I guess that really does... That is a visual... a visual illustration as to how much thinner the Kerbin atmosphere has gotten. Alright, now let's throttle back much more and tilt over this way. And tr oh gosh, I still don't think we're gonna be able to get in orbit. <laughs> Alright, let's let's hold that thought. Since we're we're up in space. What are what does those little things mean? I'm I'm still unclear as to what is that heat? Yeah, they're kind of glowing red. That might be heat, just from being so close to the engine? Heat and, and maybe, uh, not reliability, but durability remaining in that part? <laughs> We're just guessing at this point. We're just guessing. Oh, yeah, we haven't taken... Let's take the temperature while we're at it. Log the temperature! Ooh! 
Let's keep the data. Let's also keep in mind our electric charge. Yeah, let's transmit some of this stuff, just to see. Observe the materials bay! Not that much. Uh, reset the experiment. Just kidding, just kidding. All right, we're gonna lose this stage. And then... Woo, take that! You dang stage. Mm, that's gonna be a tough one. Can never be too sure. Let's, while we're generating electricity, let's transmit that science. Can we do, I almost put him out on EVA. That would've been terrible. Get a crew report. Yeah, I've already done all this stuff before with uh, Valentina, so this is becoming moot. But we've never done the uh, the temperature before. Where'd it go? Review the data. Send the data. Transmitting data. Data sent. All right, that wasn't a huge boon for science, but it worked. Oh man, we might get into orbit. <laughs> I'm really inefficient, <laughs> apparently. I should I should have another uh, fuel tank up on this first stage, so we'll have to do that next time. Or we'll just get into orbit right now, shall we? Just keep an eye on your fuel, because you've got to deorbit eventually. Shouldn't take that much to deorbit. We just gotta give it above 70. Just above 70 is all we need. Uh, Alright, we're in orbit! How about that? Not even 10 minutes into the episode, and we are already into orbit. We have a sliver, a literal sliver of fuel remaining. So now I wonder, now that we're in orbit around Kerbin, if the science would be different. Yes! No. Not really. Thank it. Inoperable after transmitting. Huh. That sucks. Well, in space near Kerbin. Oh, we'd have to get much higher. Uh, zero science value. Well, I'll just reset that experiment. All right, maybe we should stop bringing that mode module with, since it's proving to be quite pointless. At this at this juncture, uh, and it's worth nothing. Worth nothing. Well, this has been a, a momentous, a momentous occasion to be in orbit here, although it is uh, proving to be entirely pointless as far as science is concerned. We got three whatever science from the temperature reading in space near Kerbin. All right, and we've already done an EVA. Whoa, easy there. with uh, Valentina. Yep. Hmm. So we'll have to start thinking a little bit bigger, I think. We'll have to start thinking of higher altitudes. We'll have to start thinking of destinations, such as the moon. Um, I mean, there is also stuff we could journey to different biomes within Kerbin, I guess, but that really doesn't interest me so much. I mean, like, the, the, the planes and stuff are neat, but that's not... It's not exactly what I signed up for. All right, can I attach myself back to this? Easy. Easy. Grab. Good grab. Up, 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 up! Yep, they still do kind of bobble around there, don't they? All right, so... We have successfully entered orbit. Gosh, I'm just starting to remember all of the uh, the crazy things about making maneuvers. Oh, there's a warp here function. That's interesting. Uh, maneuvers and, and rendezvous and docking. It's all flooding back. It is all flooding back. And that has some strange reflective properties that Kerbin has. All right, let's do a, a full orbit here to make sure we get on the record books. 
Keep an eye on our electric charge as well. I think we have more than enough electric charge for anything we would ever possibly want to do. Woo! And the Kerbal Space Center should be coming up. Is the moon again? Oh, it's actually going to be in nighttime. So I think we've done a full orbit. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It depends on the. There it is. That's a. It's a. It's a strange, bright, pixelated spot on the surface that we can see. All right. So now I am going to. It's going to be best to burn at our apoapsis to bring our periapsis down. Add maneuver. All we really. Whoops! That's way too much. I was supposed to say all we really need to do is reduce under the atmosphere to 27 I'd say for to, to I mean we should just do as much as we can but at least at least to 30 otherwise you run into the problem of potentially skipping off the atmosphere of course I don't know how shallow re-entry is dealt with I don't think you can skip off the atmosphere it should slow you enough that the uh, it should slow you enough that the uh, the atmosphere pulls you in regardless. Oh, that's, that is so helpful. Uh, it's almost as if they listened to old Kurt J. Mack specifically. Because I was constantly hunting for my maneuver node. But now there's a little blue arrow telling me from whence I should uh, maneuver to it. Although I think there's probably even a... Is radial, anti-radial? Yeah, well, I guess you could just attach yourself to the retrograde and wait for the uh, the node to catch up. Uh, it doesn't know how long of a burn we're going to need, but we'll just try as, as, as much as possible. Yeah, that really stinks. I'm kind of... I'm kind of done with all the science, unless I get more science apparatuses. I'm kind of done with all the science. I should actually take another temperature reading. And then keep it, and then recover it. Um, let's see. Maybe start 10 seconds? Maybe. Let's go with that. We are going to be efficient. Ooh, stars. All right, here comes the burn. Oh, that was... Oh, I have more than enough fuel. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. See, we're down to 30. I should just... 20. I don't want to come in too deep, though, because we've learned how quickly we can just slice and dice through the atmosphere. All right, let's do this re-entry. I have also... I'm not sure. Does the capsule by default have a heat shield on it? Because it doesn't look like it. So I've attached a heat shield to the bottom of the capsule. So I guess we'll just see how that works out for us. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. We are back. Interfacing with the atmosphere, I should. Okay, now what happens? Have I observed the materials bay from just at the edge? Hmm, it's inoperable after transmitting. It, it, it gives you zero, zero, zero of the science data. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, let's, let's speed things up a little bit here. Uh, I have all the staging correct. I'm not going to pop the chute too soon, am I? Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm not quite using a large ship just yet, but I do appreciate your concern. Ooh, okay. 
Actually, that little shakiness was good. <laughs> was getting to be worrying. I suppose maybe the atmospheric effects, the aerodynamic effects. Oh, we're gonna land right back at Kerbin. Now that would be neat. Did I do that right? I think so. <laughs> that would be pretty amazing. A pinpoint landing. There it is. Hmm. Hmm. This is very interesting. I think I'm coming down too far past it. But it should be an easy recovery as the sun sets right there. Let's burn what fuel we have left. There it is. All right. Very nice. And... Can I transfer my electric charge? Why are those things blinking? Oh. How do I do that again? I forgot how to do that. Aha! Yeah, that's interesting. So electric charge can be transferred exactly like fuel can. So that's fun. Uh, I believe this is still... Oh god. Uh, still useless. Alright, so we're going to detach. Alright, so we've got the heat shield. And the ablator. <laughs> so that's, that's going to be helpful. In our descent, oh, I'm a little bit concerned about the stability of that. Uh, things are so shaky. Should I disable my SAS? Is that something I should do? Because won't it just self-correct? Yeah, that's probably the thing to do. It would also save electric charge. Not that we really need it. Ooh, that's really neat how it heats up like this. <laughs> Alright, we're at 40,000. Uh, we've well passed by Kerbal Space Center, I believe. Yeah, there it is in the distance. Alright. Look at how fast we're going. And now we're starting to finally bleed off speed. Yikes. This is scary. Ooh, the moon. You can see the moon. Hello, moon. I'm coming for you next, sucker. <laughs> okay, this is getting scary, actually. So much being ablated. Such ablations. <laughs> Can I do this? Observe the mystery goo. Uh, I'll keep the data. I'll take all the science I can get at this juncture. 30,000. Did we lose that other part? Oh yeah, it's way off in the distance. Yikes. <laughs> this is getting crazy. EVA, no. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Wow, this is lasting a long time. I guess we did come in quite shallow. I mean, we are coming in now, right? Yeah. W without a doubt. Eighteen thousand meters. Still bleeding off the speed. Uh, I kind of see a shoreline up ahead. That's concerning. Oh, sonic boom. <laughs> it's funny. I, it, it sounds like a, an audio glitch, but I think it is actually something they added into the game. Alright, 10,000 meters. We have to get under 200 meters per second for this parachute to be okay. Am I right? Or am I right? 8,000. Uh, inoperable. Unsafe. Still unsafe. Yeah, well, I think it's under 200. That's a good... 5,000! Safe. It says it's safe. I'm going to deploy. Alright. It didn't lie to us. I'm very concerned 
about whether or not the game is trying to trick us. <laughs> oh, it's perfectly safe. Go ahead. Kablam! Ripped into a billion pieces. Ooh. We've done it. We have survived our first orbit of curb. Well, I, we haven't touched down just yet, so I should maybe wait a few seconds. Ah, maybe from within the water. Have I ever observed the goo from within the water? Ooh, that's an artistic little thing we're, we've got going on there. There we go. That's better. <laughs> All right, hundred meters. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, we've survived before already without the heat shield. I mean, only 5%, or not even 5%, 2.5% of the ablator was ablated. <laughs> so, I'm not sure that's necessary. Whoa! Yes! Yes, indeed. Observe the mystery goo from within the water. Oh, that's worth stuff. Keep that data. And recover the vessel. Oh, wait, have I? Let's see. Oh, I never did a crew report from within the water. Keep that data. All right, now let's recover the vessel. I need every little drop of science I can get. And what do we got? Certainly not as much as I had hoped, probably. 19. That's a little bit more than I anticipated. So 19, so up to what was it, 20 something? And yeah, this was right before I started this episode. Researched this one. A radiator panel. And we could start... Well, we could send up... Uh, robots. Robots. But right now we only have 28, so we don't have enough to research the next. What I really need is a bigger fuel tank. That's just a fuselage. Uh, the struts, I know I said that next I would s select the struts, but I lied. <laughs> um, oh, there's the bigger fuel tank. That's what I should have gotten. Dang it! We'll just have to do a few little piddly uh, experiments to see about uh, what what kind of uh, additional science we could... Maybe, yeah, let's maybe, maybe let's do that. Let's go back to here. Let's see what we can do about getting additional science. I think... Couldn't I make... I have a structural... I have landing struts, do I not? Yeah. I could make a little tiny lander and land on, like, one of the poles? And then, like, do science at the poles? Is that suggestible? Debatable? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Probably a terrible idea. Let's see, like, what if I did that? That just doesn't look like a good connection. What if I did that? I mean, we don't need to get into orbit, obviously. Um, I wonder how hard we hit with parachute. Um, like, if these legs are enough. I mean, I could do the ra two radial parachutes. Maybe that's the thing to do. Oh god, those are huge. Maybe not. Those are gigantic. <laughs> um, hmm. I've, I think this might be ill-advised, but uh, I'm gonna try it. Let's see here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We have a spaceship here and Bob Kerman in the cockpit this time. This is the first time we're seeing Bob. He is a scientist. I don't know if that means we're going to get more science out of him or not. I just, I think that just might be a, a title. But uh, we are going to attempt. I've actually, I've flown one of the most popular 
Kerbal Space Program videos I've put up is the live stream archive where I made an airplane and flew to the North Pole, uh, but I've never been to the South Pole in Kerbal Space Program, I don't think. A uh, little Antarctica down there. So I think we're going to fly to the South Pole. I think we should have enough oomph to do so. I essentially just want to start flying towards the zero degree, I think, is what I want to do. Am I right? Uh, and, and well, 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 we'll wing it. One way or the other, I, I might mess up and accidentally start flying to the North Pole, but ooh, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, we're going to try this out. It's pretty much the same spacecraft, except uh, I've replaced one of the uh, fuel tanks with uh, some parts with the lander legs, and we're going to attempt and hope that we can land under parachute power, because we have no rocket power uh, to land with. Uh, the smallest rocket that we have is this one, so... We're going to give it a whirl here in three, two, one. Yaus, yaus. Oh, yep, that's that's north. Let's go south. <laughs> yeah, let's just tilt a little bit south. Not too crazy. There we go. There we go. Just to make sure we're on the right heading. Throttle down the uh, liquid fuel rockets. So we are going a little bit fast. I don't need to be getting into space. Well, maybe space, but certainly not orbit, technically. So that's good. We are about to detach. Okay, I'm going to actually have to go a little bit more south. Oh, wow, that... Whoa, I'm going way too fast. Alright, so... Yeah, we're actually going to have to counteract... The orbit... I'm sorry, the rotation... Not too much, not too much. We're going to flip over. The the rotation of the, the planet as well with this... Yeah, okay. What's our apoapsis at? Oh, hell's blazes. Alright, maybe tilting over a little bit more. Oh, this is all backwards. I'm very confused. Oh, wrong way. Ugh, not small little tiny movements, please. Alright, throttle back a little bit. Save that fuel. Oh, what was the... was it caps lock? Yeah, caps lock smoothed out the controls. Not as essential in your rockets, but probably better for actual flight mechanics, like airplanes and things. I remember. I remember. Alright, we just gotta get that angle pointing south. Just a little bit more that way. An unusual launch here. <laughs> a very unusual launch. Uh. I think we can get there if we stay on this heading. Oh, we're in space. Hold on, let's save that. Oh, we're actually near up the apoapsis. We're up the apoapsis as it is. Uh, very nice, very nice. Nominal, anti-nominal, radial, anti-radial. I don't know what all these things mean. What are these? Oh, that's for docking? Oh, that's going to be helpful. Some automated systems for docking. All right. Yeah, so like what happens just because you're a scientist? No, he doesn't give us anything anything else. Okay. Mm, getting into polar orbit or just into polar flight is a difficult task indeed, it would seem. All right, let's do that. Alright, we're going to lose this stage. That's fine and dandy. Let's check where we are. We are not going to make it. We are not going to make it, my friends! Uh... Although we do have a little bit more... oomph. In regards to having just lost all that weight. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I should up my altitude just a little bit. Oh, we're already down to half, but you know what I can do? Uh, let's throttle down, first of all. I've got that extra fuel tank there. Didn't really plan that out very well, but did I do that right? Yeah, I did. All right, things are not transpiring as well as I anticipated. Oh, getting to getting to the South Pole is difficult. All right, let's let's see how this transpires. Uh oh, we're starting to have heat issues. Up, oh, and we've run out of fuel. Ah, oh, I did that all wrong. I'm gonna come up many miles short. Uh, let's lose the stage. And then make sure our heat shield is actually, uh... Alright, there we go. That's better. Dang it! Wow. Yeah, that's tough. Um, hmm. I am going to have to think about this much harder than I, the few minutes I put into it previously. All right, I've deployed the chute. And we are coming down for a landing. Let's just put the landing gear down. Let's just see how... 7.2 meters per second? Might be a little fast. Might be a little bit fast for this... This little spacecraft. Or these little legs. Normally, it's less than 5. It's kind of the... Uh, Kind of the agreed upon, you know, the what, the the the, uh, the speed at which you want to hit the ground. So that that's interesting. And for some reason, this stage is glowing red. I don't know what I did wrong with that, but it's glowing red. Don't touch it. It's very hot. It's very hot. No touching. Ooh. Well. Could certainly land in the water, that's for sure. Uh, we haven't taken the temperature in the water, have we? 413 degrees! Oh, is that... is that because... is that like the temperature? What happens if we put you in the water? <laughs> that seems wrong, doesn't it? And the temperature is rising. Huh, interesting. Log the temperature, that'll give us some science. Uh, we've never done this within the ocean as well. Is it fills with water? <laughs> and uh, is there anything else we haven't done within the water? Uh, maybe an EVA. Ooh, careful now. EVA report, yeah, let's, let's keep that data. All right, I'm really scrounging. I'm scrounging for this science. So, all right. Perhaps, perhaps in the next episode, we will have a much better thought out plan to get to the South Pole. <laughs> but uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. We've got uh, 17 more. Oh, wait, is that enough? Have we done it? Has Bob Kerman saved the day? He most certainly has. We have 45.8 science, and that's exactly what we needed. So, which one did I actually want? Do I want the strut connectors? Or do I want winglets? Do I want the bigger fuel tanks? I think I want the bigger fuel tanks and the access to, like, this would be good for landings. This little puddle jumper rocket. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to have zero science starting out the next episode. Starting from scratch. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Kurt. I will see you next time. So much science! Look at all this science. Science for days.